This is Nexus Blitz. What is Nexus Blitz? Nexus Blitz is a League of Dicks game mode that people have been wanting for the longest time since it was first on the PvE a long time ago, just like how you've been waiting for your dad to return with that orange juice. It's fast paced like Earth, but only in terms of gold gain, and the games will always last less than 20 minutes, but still longer than how long I last in bed, I think. Here's your early PSA warning. Guardians? They hurt. Anyway, Nexus Tits takes place on a brand new map featuring two lanes and a jungle, kinda like this one fever dream I had, but whatever. The team compositions are 2 1 2, it's in two junglers, a mid laner, and two bot laners. Remember that that's for compositions and not the pattern for my consecutive days of crying myself to sleep at night. As for what you can do and where anything goes, just try everything until you find what's comfortable. Everyone has their first time at some point. Oh, and any champ can be played even in jungle or whatever. Ornin Cho vs Yasuo and Zinzao. Too easy. Watch me clap these men. I'm gonna clap him. Or Cho's going to clap him. But I will clap the Yasuo. Mark my words. Clap. Oh. Okay. Sexist Bitch features multiple events that take place at specific times and reward the winning team with a buff that can last a whole game or just until the next event takes place. The events are random and only announced 30 seconds before they occur, unlike when she stuck the carrot up my ass. Don't ask. Also, when champs select, you'll see the first event that occurs. You cannot escape Earth Mode Nashus! Mine! 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 You'll all be mine! You're going to be mine! What the fuck? Let's go over Texas Mitz's events one at a time. The first is a menage a trois, or threesome if you're a moron like me. Bottle Royale comes in three flavors, vanilla, steroids, and bad mess. Vanilla is just a shrinking ring of fire and everyone has one life. Steroids is the same, but one member of each team gets to become a beef castle. Bad meth instead grants paranoia and mutes your pinks. Kinda like when I get locked inside of a broom closet with my hands cuffed behind my back. Seriously, don't ask. Happy birthday, ladies! Allow me to suck you off! Oh, give me that suck. <gasps> the next Brexit shit event is Earth. It's a best of three fight that takes place in the center of the map between the two lanes. It's exactly what it sounds like. You only get one life, so do not miss your chance to blow me. I'm not sorry. Yeah, so there was this really weird bug on the PvE where the enemy team surrendered, you lost. I... I... I don't even know how. Next up on Flexit Ricks is Prize Fights. It consists of three fights where each member of a team fights once. The matchups are random, two 2v2 fights and one 1v1. The fighting arena is the same as Earth, so there's some consistency, unlike my friendships. I've noticed that most of my event footage is... Scuttle Racing and Protect the Raka. Just a... Just an observation. Your next sexist clicks fun time mode is scuttle racing. Both teams will have to lead their own scuttle to the finish line through the middle of the map while brutally murdering the other scuttle for being a fucking piece of shit. The scuttles can be CC'd and are treated as champs, so sets and light can ult them. When killed, they stay still to respawn. I feel sorry for them. I at least escape my captors every time I get killed. Hmm? What about the game? Gaze upon my mountain of footage. Gaze upon it. And tremble. Rex's quiz has this event that is you beat the living shit out of a yordle for gold, like Jimmy from elementary. It's either Vigar who will cast his E and W multiple times, or Timo who runs away like a little bitch, just like Jimmy from elementary. Now if you excuse me, I'm gonna go kick Jimmy's ass so I can afford lunch. It's hamburger day. Hey Graves! Hi ho Silver! Mario Maker's next game mode is push the cart where carts appear to fuck up a tower. You have to stand in your own cart circle to push it, but if an enemy stands in it, the cart stays still and vice versa. The cart will pass towards the closest structure, but the spawn point isn't always in the same place. Sometimes there will only be one cart that both teams have to try and push. Also, the event is timed, so the winner is just whoever has the most progress. Glad it's not based on my life's progress. It's time for another PSA announcement because I didn't feel like writing a script for it and I also forgot to, but certain events will have favorable positions for the losing team, which is why I'm in the enemy jungle with the Guardian beating my ass inside of a Bottle Royale. But we have a Yumi, so it's fine. Protect the Soraka is a very fun Naked Fits game mode where both teams get a giant Soraka that walks around and casts her spells as well as some redemptions. The Rockas can be a little aggressive like my uncle during Thanksgiving and will run at the enemy team for no reason just to assert dominance against the other Rocka. First team to kill the enemy banana girl wins. Fun fact, Rocka can get ulted by Mord and yeah, it's dumb. 
I don't have footage, but just trust me. Okay, so I wanted some footage because I didn't have any of more being able to ult the Rockabot, and I decided while doing my editing that I wanted to get some footage. And hilariously enough, this is the first game that I queued for, and the first event is Protect the Rocka. Hooray! Wax and Chips' next mode is DPS check, where a target dummy spawns somewhere on the map and has to be punished like the naughty girl she is for about a minute and whoever beats that ass harder wins. You can even use knockbacks and pulls to place the dummy in a better position for your team. Yeah, I assume the gender. Wanna fight? Okay, yeah, so watch this. Isn't that stupid though? Come on! That's so dumb! Valorant's next game mode is King of the Hill. A circle of death spawns on the map and asks for the souls of the damned to stand upon it to take full control. Just like push the homeless man's cart mode, if both teams stand in the circle, no progress is made, and the circle has to be reset if you want to make progress after sweeping the enemy team off of it. The event ends when the circle has enough soul power. Um, you don't actually need soul power to make progress. It was, uh, it was a bad joke. Comedy's hard. Fuck you. The final event is Sudden Death. At 17 minutes or whatever, the Nexuses will stand up and will travel down the mid lane to beat some ass. All camps and minions despawn and both teams gain a cannon and base to launch back to the battlefield. The giant white chicks will only fight each other for the last pumpkin spice latte of the year and will take turns stunning the other, gaining a shield, and knocking back the enemy team. The rage also gives them way more health, but it's based on how much health the Nexus had before the event began. First team to kill the other Nexus wins and can enjoy the last latte. Um, where? Where's the enemy nexus? What? No, like seriously, where where is it? I can't I can't find it anywhere. Why is it all the way back here? How the fuck? What the hell? Damn it, Riot. Fuck. As I said before, the event rewards can range from buffs that last between events or permanent additions to your team. For between the beatdown rewards, you have Static Shiv on steroids, Judgment of the Elders, Moist Regen, Moby Boots, Big Fucking Shields, Guardian Crackhead, and Poro Power. For permanent rewards, you have Santa's Death Slate, Catapult of Toxic Players, and Fucking Hooks. So I don't have any footage in my 20 plus games of a uh, Elder Dragon. Now I do. Unfortunately, it's on the enemy team. Managing to get 4 kills or 8 assists without dying will grant you the buff on fire, which increases your size slightly, increases your damage, and it makes your cooldowns come back faster, but it makes you take more damage. But if I'm gonna be honest, the increased damage taken is pretty ass, and never matters if you aren't an idiot. If you're already a squishy, you'd get popped anyways. But if you are relatively tanky, you never die because you're so strong and have a huge item advantage. The buff feels like it should be a debuff so that the enemy can get back in the game by killing you, but it never feels like it. It really sucks when the whole enemy team team is engulfed in flames. It would be nice if they took part of your damage as true damage, then you'd feel like you at least have a fucking chance. Riot. Quick into them because they don't feel like redoing fucking script. Blah. You burn nearby enemies, you don't have increased damage, but you also gain mana regeneration and, and or energy regeneration. Also, your healing and shielding are reduced. But And honestly, yes, you can still be killed. Even if you have it, it is not impossible but it feels like a goddamn challenge. 25% increased damage to melees and 35 increased damage to range doesn't really feel like much of anything, as long as you play smart. That is all. Lastly, there are some new items, and by new, I mean old items that were removed from the game and added to Hex's whips. These are Cane Spare Shoes, A Stalker's Best Friend, Reject Battle Mage, Sword of the Insane, The Wee Sword, Udyr's Only Girlfriend, Nature's Side Piece, Pentakill's Best Song, Spear of the Jaded, Don Massimo Torricelli's Flail, and an actual new item, the all-purpose sex toy. Blah 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 blah, more things. Uh, on fire, you cannot get it from pure assist. You need at least a few kills in order to get it. The amount you need does go down from four with the more assist that you have. Also, minions will always grant gold nearby and you'll always get uh, a steady increase of experience as time goes on but when the first event occurs at the exact same time as it always does you will automatically 
hit level 6 if you are only level 5, but from then on the events are kind of, they're not exactly random, there is a set time to when they will happen, but you could have multiple events going on, like you could have 3 events or you could have 4 events even if you do hit sudden death. Is there anything else that I need to say? I don't really know, I'm just running down the clock, running down the clock, running down the clock, running down the clock, and done. Nexus Blitz is a fun game mode that actually does something different while still keeping the spirit of League intact. You know what I mean. Teammates who feed, enemy teams that are just way better, broken items, instant surrenders, teammates getting mad at you for one bad game, and being unable to carry despite having a great early. Such a great game. Play it for yourself while the Spirit Blossom event is going on.